very windy outside. I tried to take a nice video with uh, shooting outside in the garden, um, but it's very windy. So, um, well, it's the, especially the muscle flash isn't very visible. So I'm just taking this uh, one shot here inside also, so you can see the muscle flash a little better. So yeah, when it's very bright outside, it's not as visible as inside, uh, logically. So before opening up the tank uh, to show you what's inside, I first have to remove the little figures because, well, they will fall off. They are magnetic, so you can be removed. They're just uh, cheap resin figures that I bought off AliExpress. I painted them up myself. So yeah, there are four figures. I'm going to put them to the side the moment. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, all the little hatches they can close. So I made these front hatches so they can swivel and close. They are magnetic also so they just click into place. So everything is closed now. When you want to shoot the gun you have to add oil. So inside this hole I made a little uh, muscle um, where you can add the oil for the uh, gun smoke and here in the back there's a little cap I removed and under that you can add the smoke for the exhaust it's more convenient than adding it well you have to open normally you have to open up the whole tank to add oil which is very inconvenient so this is the tank opened up um, we'll just show what's inside um, I will get to the barrel, recoil and flashing uh, uh, at the end. Uh, first off, very basic change is changing the motors to red motors. Red motors are more powerful. Um, I changed the MFU, uh, which was a 6.0 to a 7.1. A 6.0 doesn't support servos and you need a servo um, motors for the recoil of the barrel. So uh, I changed it to TK 7.1. Um, you can also use a TK, a TK 6.1, uh, which is an older version. Uh, the advantage of using TK 7 is uh, that it only has two sound sets. Uh, the older versions have four sound sets, but the two sound sets are uh, better quality samples. So, well, you have less choice, but I choose the Tiger sound for this tank. Uh, the other sound, I think it's like an Abrams in this uh, this unit. Uh, there's a different unit available, 7 unit, uh, which has, um, I believe, I, I don't remember, uh, one Russian tank, one American, or maybe the Leopard, nothing for me at least. Um, what I also did is upgrade the speaker. There's a uh, speaker that has a little bit more bass to it than the original speaker. It's a little bit louder, so the sound is uh, clearer. Um, the smoke unit I replaced. Uh, what I did is um, this tube goes to this point here on the top of the hole, which ends at the end, where is the cap, uh, where you can add the oil. Um, the motor for the uh, exhaust smoke for the pumping action is uh, down here. It's uh, basically loose. I didn't glue it down, but I put some foam be between it so it doesn't rattle around when it's working. Um, that's about well the bottom part of the tank. So at the top of the tank, there is the upgraded uh, recoil. Um, I removed the whole uh, BB uh, unit. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, I don't want to shoot the BB ball, so I removed it. This thing is from Hanglong. It's made of alum aluminum. It's not the best quality. It takes some fiddling to add to the tank. Also, the uh, recoil action that it does is a little bit too short for uh, something like a King Tiger, which has an 88 gun, which has a big recoil. Um, so I extended the servo arm. Uh, I made a new bracket uh, for the servo recoil, so it just has a little bit more reach, uh, which makes it a little bit more uh, realistic. Um, I made a 3D printed bracket that I added to the top of the turret where there is a servo motor that 
uh, controls the up and down movement of the barrel. And I don't know if you can see this because it's dark and I don't want to open up completely. Uh, here is the smoke fluid container. It's stuck to the underside of the turret uh, ring, uh, but there's a little tube that goes to the commander cupola where you can add the oil. And right in the back there is a motor that um, supplies the pumping action for the flash. Um, at the top of the turret, which is not visible, I will see if I have a picture of this, uh, there is the little control unit that controls the flash, it controls uh, when the smoke has to be triggered and uh, when the recoil has to appear.